A new study presented to the United Nations reveals the terrorist-linked White Helmets group is admitting to staging fake chemical attacks in Syria. One America's Pearson Sharp reports. At least 40 members of the terrorist-linked White Helmets have admitted they staged fake chemical attacks to provoke retaliation against the Syrian government. Members of the group, who won an Oscar for their Netflix documentary, came out in recent interviews for a study presented to the United Nations and confessed they had, in fact, faked the attacks. According to Maxim Grigoriev, the director for the Foundation of the Study of Democracy, the White Helmets provided a detailed description of the methods commonly used by their organization to fake the scenes. The admissions came after a thorough fact-finding mission carried out in Syria, which uncovered numerous members of the terrorist-affiliated group, as well as dozens of other actors who took part in the fake attacks. Grigoriev explained the participants were often innocent bystanders who were taken advantage of by the White Helmets. Many were living in poverty and agreed to participate just to earn a few dollars to buy food for their families. A woman recounts how the White Helmets members gave her a white sheet to wrap around herself and says she was then told to lie motionless on the ground. She was even instructed to fill her mouth with toothpaste so she would appear to be choking on chemical weapons. Another man says he was told to close his eyes and play dead while the White Helmets filmed him being taken to a hospital. And in Douma, the site of last year's chemical attack near Damascus, a White Helmets member says that local children were given candy as a reward for acting like they were sick on camera. One America News went to Douma to investigate days after the attack apparently happened. After visiting the very hospital where the videos were filmed, we could find no evidence of any attack. And the doctors I spoke with told me no one was treated for chemical injuries and not a single person died that day. This latest report reveals serious holes in the official story from the Organization for the Prohibition of Chemical Weapons, which claimed the Syrian government is responsible for gassing its own civilians. Yet the OPCW also admitted much of their evidence used in their report was given to them by members of the terrorist groups. The report presented to the UN relied on 15 first-hand witnesses of the Duma attack, as well as some 40 members of the White Helmets. More than 25 others were also interviewed who personally saw the White Helmets setting up the areas to create fake chemical attacks to use for propaganda. In February of this year, a reporter for the BBC also came out and confirmed, after speaking with members of the White Helmets, that without a doubt, the hospital scenes filmed in Duma were staged. This latest news comes amid fresh warnings from Russia that the White Helmets are once again preparing to launch another fake attack, this time in Syria's Idlib province. As the Syrian army closes in on the last remaining terrorist fighters, reports are coming in of film crews recording the staged death of a family due to chemical weapons. But with the White Helmets now discredited as terrorist sympathizers, it's not clear how seriously any governments will take the news. For One American News, I'm Pearson Sharp. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One American News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One American News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.